These are the eggs that I'm going to be shipping today. Um, this customer wanted a variety of different eggs. She's getting uh, English Black Orpingtons, uh, Easter Eggers, Japanese Bantams, Bearded Buff Silkies, Lavender Americanas, and of course some Copper Black Marin eggs. Um, she's also getting a couple of Easter Eggers. Um, these eggs have already been candled. Uh, you should always candle your eggs before you ship them and check for for cracks in the shell. Um, I have a video on candling but I just use a mag, mag light and take the egg and hold it against the egg and turn it around looking for abnormalities, cracks in the, in the shell, things that you wouldn't be able to see um, normally just looking at the egg. Again, you need to go in a dark room in order to candle an egg and um, I have a video, can, uh, a video on candling eggs also if you'd like to go view that. Um, all sellers should always candle their eggs before shipping them. Um, it's just the right thing to do. Um, you don't want your customer opening up a box of eggs and, and finding cracks in them. Um, the other thing is um, my eggs are generally clean. Um, I collect them often, especially on days I'm selling, I'm shipping. Um, but you know, eggs get dirty, especially if it's if it's raining outside or whatever. Um, I don't wash my eggs. Uh, you don't want to wash your eggs and ship fertile hatching eggs um, that have been washed. Uh, take a dry paper towel. This is a copper black marinade. This would come off very easily with a dry paper towel. Just buff that right off and, and that's not going to cause a problem whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see if I can find one that's got more mess on it. This one's got a little more dirt on it, but that's, that's still okay. Okay, here's one. Here's an Easter Egger. Um, I would not ship this egg, um, not in the state that it's in right now. I would um, take a nylon um, sponge, dry sponge, and try to buff that off with the nylon sponge. It will probably come off with that. Um, if it doesn't, I certainly would not ship a dirty egg like that. Nobody should be shipping dirty eggs. Um, you know, I understand that it, it does rain and get muddy and, and dug on it. It happens to all of us and we have dirty eggs. But you don't want to ship something that you wouldn't want to receive yourself. So here's another one. I would try to get that off with a dry paper towel or a nylon sponge that's dry. And it'll probably come right off. But that's how that's the state they're in when I ship them. Okay, so another thing that I do with my eggs for my customers is I label the, the eggs. Um, I just take a pencil and, and write um, what they are on the egg. This is a Bearded Buff Silky. I only raise Bearded Buff Silkies. If I had different varieties, I would um, label it further, but an S for Silky is sufficient. Um, this one is says LA on it. That's a lavender Americana. You don't want to write lavender Americana across your egg. So an LA is, is fine. And just let your customer know what an LA means. Um, here's a, an Orpington egg. I just mark with an Orp on there. Um, of course the copper black marin eggs are pretty um, pretty identifiable. If I d had different varieties of marins I would label them but um, I only raise uh, copper black marin, so there's no reason to um, label an egg like that. Um, definitely it helps to label these two um, blue eggs because they virtually look the same. However, one is an Easter Egger and one is a Lavender Americana. So uh, it certainly helps the customer know what they're hatching. And it's just another little, little helpful thing that you can do. This is the bubble wrap that I use to wrap my eggs with. I use the small size bubbles. Um, I get it's 12 inches wide. You can get them in any size roll. You can get huge rolls offline. You can buy them at um, Staples, Walmart, pretty much anywhere you can get bubble wrap. And this is what I use to wrap the eggs with. What I do is I usually cut the bubble wrap in six inch strips. Uh, I'm going to show you with a ruler here, but my goodness, I, I, I don't think I've ever in my life actually measured the, um, the strips. But they're approximately six inches wide. And 
today I'm going to be shipping a box full of eggs, so I will cut at least 24 of these strips. Helps if you have the sharp scissors, Paul. And then you just keep cutting. And of course, if you're shipping goose eggs, you want to probably have more like 8 inch strips. If you're silk shipping silky eggs or bantam eggs in general, you can have smaller strips. I just said 6 inches because it's close enough. But you can gauge it yourself. And I cut 24 of these. And then if I can fit more than 24 eggs in the box and I have extra eggs, I always ship extras. Okay, so I have my um, all of my pieces cut here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the top left-hand corner of each piece. And we'll use this mark later to um, show the top, um, the, the fat end of the egg when we load it into the box. So I just take a Sharpie and I mark the top left corner of each one of these. And in the end, it will help us with putting the eggs in the box fat end up. So I just put a red mark on each one of these and hopefully this time you can actually see what I'm doing. I had the camera a little bit off last time. But we just keep doing that until we're done. Okay, so we have our pile of uh, bubble wrap already cut and now we're going to wrap our eggs. So, I just take one of these, turn it over so that the, the bubble side is up, fold it into three, so it's just like that, okay? And then you want to turn it so that the red mark, you can see the red mark up. Take one of your eggs, and you want it to be fat end up, okay? So, fat end, skinny end pointy end, whatever, and you want to place it on, on the um, bubble wrap so the fat end is on the same side as your red mark. And you just start at one end and roll it up and then take some scotch tape and tape it. bottom, take the top, and there you have it. Now this is, this was a lavender Americana egg, so again for the customer, I will mark it lavender Americana, okay? And then I put it aside. And I do the next egg. And again, take one of these. And you want to do it in thirds. Fold it in thirds. Okay, and this is a, a, a narrower one, so I'm going to take one of the one of my silky eggs. And again, you want to have the fat end up. And you just roll it. And tape it. I don't skimp on the tape. I don't want it to come undone. And there's the silky. So this is easy to see. Take one of the mirror eggs. Make sure you have the fat end on the same side as the red mark. And roll that puppy up. Take it. Take it. And M 
for Marin. And that's it. You just keep going till they're all.